Hello, everyone, and my name is Blair Lee, and I am interviewing Dr. Michelle Perinello Kaysen for the Global Homeschool Summit. Ah, thank you for being here today. Michelle and I are going to have a conversation about the future of education. Now, honestly, I cannot wait to hear what Michelle has to say on this topic. But before we get started, Michelle, why don't you tell everybody a little bit about yourself? Hi, thank you, Blair. I'm really excited to be here today and to talk about this. So I have a PhD in rhetoric and composition, and I was an English professor in a community college for about six years. And now I am a homeschooling mom of two kids and also um, run my own homeschooling curriculum class and teach a lot of online classes for homeschoolers. And so I have kind of seen different sides of the educational world and what's been happening in the field of education lately. And I wrote my dissertation about sort of the history of English instruction in American education. And so I've just been really interested in kind of seeing how rapidly things are changing and thinking about what the future of education might look like. Well, and I know that you incorporate a lot of um, philosophy as well. You don't just teach English and, and actually you're, we're not going to get into it today, but it's a talk in of itself. You, I find some of the methods that you're using um, when for uh, middle school and high school writing to be pretty revolutionary. It really, I think it's really exciting. And so, um, so let me start. What do you think of when we talk about the future of education? So I think that almost every parent who is making any kind of educational decision right now is aware that there is uncertainty in the air. And that's true of any point in time of history, right? We, we can never predict the future. We're, we're always just making our best guess. But I think that right now, parents who are making decisions about their children's education are dealing with an unprecedented level of uncertainty because things are changing so rapidly in good ways and bad ways. Our technology is advancing so rapidly. We see kind of questioning of our social and political structures. We just don't know what kind of world our kids are going to be going into in a way that I think was not true for even my parents' generation. They were fairly certain what the path through college would look like for me if that's the track that I was on, right? They were fairly certain what kind of jobs would exist for me. So they knew as they were making educational choices what they were trying to prepare me for. But I don't think that today's parents have that luxury. I think that we are dealing with a lot of uncertainty, a lot of flux. And now that we're dealing with a pandemic that's looking at changes to our entire educational system, those things are getting sped up even more. Changes that were already in the works are now being accelerated. And parents are left just kind of wondering what am I using this education for? What am I trying to prepare my kids to do? So do you think that there are, so in a way to help parents a little bit, do you think that there are, or not, do you think that there are some things, like writing, for example, um, so obviously I'm leading you a little here, um, do you think that there are some things that people should just learn? Yeah, as, as you know, just in case anybody doesn't know who I am, I'm a scientist and I do, I write science. I mean, do you, so, so do you think that you can sit down and think about what you, what is important for your child to learn as a good starting point to bring more surety into the, what you think your kids should be learning? I think there are absolutely topics that are worth covering for everybody. And I think that there is also the metacognition of learning how to learn that is 100% necessary <laughs> for any field that you're going into, for any, whatever the future holds, we need to learn how to think critically. We need to learn how to connect ideas between disciplines. We need to learn how to know what facts we're reading are credible. And so, that requires exposure to all of these different disciplines in a meaningful and way that is informed by professionals who, who know what they're talking about. 